you haven't it figured out by now? Not yet, no? It's me signature. Hobbies. You wonder about hobbies, don't you? We all do. We all have them. Mine are fairly well known, if you don't know what they are. I'm a Civil War reenactor. And I do some sewing. That's what I'm doing right now. Making myself, well, not not exactly for myself, but for a friend of mine, a, a shell jacket. I'm doing it by hand. Now, men aren't often associated with what they like to refer to as the fairer hobbies. Sewing and things. Sewing is not a, a, a feminine thing. It's a very masculine thing. And here's why. Why not? What's feminine about it? Oh, uh, that's uh, women's work. They, um, you know, barefoot and pregnant and running around the house, uh, sewing curtains and making baby clothes and, uh, yeah, pretty much uh, making my babies. I'm going to sit there and uh, watch my TV and uh, drink my beer and uh, watch them there. Uh, such and such team win and uh we're gonna really go this year because uh we got a great team yeah really that's your hobby sitting there in front of the tv drinking a cold one watching your favorite team win lose whatever else then screaming at the tv as if they can hear you oh good lord and you wonder why this nation's going down well i do some uh, uh woodworking once in a while i've heard uh Bobby's house, and uh, we do do pretty good job over there. Yeah, we make uh, benches and things like that there. Really? So you stand around, you watch Bobby work. He makes something because he's got a hobby, and you raid his beer fridge. And you know you've been you've been drinking way too much because you have a hard time driving home, or you shouldn't be driving at all. And uh, Bobby's not drinking, but he's 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 working on something. And, you know, he's got models and things like that. Well, what's what's so wrong with that? What's wrong with having models? What's wrong with having a hobby? They call that time you invest in those beers. Not saying I don't like beer, not saying nothing against it, but is that all your hobby is? And you call me a drunk for being Irish. I have hobbies. So I'm not always drunk because, well, frankly, I can't drink right now. That whole being on parole thing, that is, that's non conducive to the whole. Yeah, uh, uh, popping a top on a cold one. Pretty much. Pretty much. So what do you do for a hobby? Well, you're not good at nothing. Well, that's, that's hard to believe. There's people who do railroading, miniature trains, full-size trains. There's one over in Ames, coal burner. There's a group of guys who go do that. Uh, myself to the Civil War reenacting. There's World War II reenacting. There's World War One. There's all sorts of kind of reenacting everywhere you go. And then, and then you have the other other things going on. Gardening. What's so, what's so feminine about gardening? I don't get that. My grandfather gardened. My grandfather sewed. He was a hell of a sewer. All my uncles sew. Matter of fact, most of my uncles sew better than most of my aunts. I mean, mother's a hell of a sewer. No. I've been enlisted to, uh, to sew a prom dress for my cousin, Tori. She needs a prom dress done. And we're working on it, gradually. That's really hard. She's a wrestler. A female wrestler, you say? Oh, yes. Is that a hobby? Yes. So there's really no boundaries. I make dresses. Is there a problem with that? Call me feminine? Oh, sure. Go right ahead. But I'll guarantee you, I've had me hands on more pretty women. And have cupped more fields on accident, without even trying. And you ever will. I'm not saying it's one of those perverted things, but when you got that kind of trust, you can walk into a bar and have a conversation with somebody, especially them pretty ones. And that's where it comes from. What's your hobby? New generation? Is it playing video games? And they're playing... Whatever. I like it. I play it too. But it's not my only hobby. So, when you think about everything in life and you're having problems with everything, maybe it's because you're having problems with the smallest things. Your hobbies. You love life having problems? Maybe it's because you're not paying attention to her. Because when you're doing a project like I'm doing, you can stop and go at any point in time. Some you can't, with the paints and things like that, that dry, it's have a hard time. But you can still have a carry, carry in a conversation. Shut the TV off and do your sewing or do your painting. And you'd be surprised what that fairer sex has to say, or the more masculine sex for you ladies has to say.
Now sometimes when you put that beer down or you put that other thing down or you put whatever you're doing on put a remote down and you talk to them, you might figure out what the problem is. You might. As for me, the only problem, I'm selling for other people for free because they're my friends and I owe them so much. That's my only problem. And really, it's not a problem because I enjoy it. So, think about what you're doing with your free time. Is it really worth it? Is that case of beer really worth it? It might be. But you cut out one case of beer a month, it's $20. Well, could you do that 20 bucks? I could do a lot. So, lots and lasses. There's me advice. There's me a little thing to ponder over. So, God knows I love you. Well, God loves you too. Till next time.